Um, yeah, just school by error. Um, gutted with, with how that happened. Um, but look, I can't, I can't change what's happened now. I just need to, to get on with it. Um, you know, as I apologise to the boys, but look, as I say, um, what will be will be. We'll have to move on. Ah, look, as I said, it's certainly disappointing to, to drop the ball over the line, but um, you know, we've got ourselves in some good positions there and you know, after the, the forwards uh, hard work and effort, um, you know, I'm I'm fairly disappointed not to, to finish it off. I'm incredibly proud of the boys. You know, we, we came across here with a, a huge cha a, a huge task on our hands and we fronted up. Um, you know, our defence stood firm, something that we've worked incredibly hard on over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I'm proud of the boys' efforts. Uh, you know, we were bitterly disappointed in that changing room not to to come away with with the the positive result. But now look, we're, we feel we're in a good place, and it's now about uh, you know kicking on and, and learning from from today and making sure that we're in a better place come next Saturday. Now look, uh, the last couple of weeks we, we've talked a lot about. Um, expressing ourselves and having some fun uh, and we stuck to our detail in, in attack, we stood firm in defence um, and the boys played with a lot of confidence and ambition which I loved. We didn't seem flustered at all um, and I felt we were in a very, very good place and, and ultimately should have won that game. We knew they were going to be physical uh, and they proved that but our forwards stood firm and, and really took it to them. Um, we talked a lot about our discipline and not giving you know, easy penalties or easy outs. Uh, and unfortunately, we gave away you know, two or three soft penalties that re relieved a lot of pressure for them and got them into some good, good areas of the field. So that's something we'll address on, on Monday and Tuesday. And as I say, make sure we're not making you know, those, those silly errors again. Because um, ultimately, we, we're in a position to win a test match there and little things just didn't quite go our way. Brilliant. You know, I was really impressed with how Adam performed, not only today but the last couple of weeks. You know, he's he's, he's driven the standards. He's driven us around the field incredibly well, uh, and I'm proud of his uh, his performance. Um, you know, Adam's a world class talent, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how good he can be. Um, he works incredibly hard, uh, along with the rest of the boys. And you know, I mean, the forwards can go on the front foot. You can really see what Adam's about. Um, as I say, I'm proud of his his performance. Yeah, exactly. As I said earlier, we, we talk a lot about our conversion rate and attack and making sure that when we get into the 22, we're coming away with points. Uh, and unfortunately, we came came up short there. Um, we got ourselves in some good situations uh, and we should have finished them off. But again, you've got to, to give credit to Ireland's defence the last few phases uh, of the game. They, they stood firm um, and they made it a nightmare for us at the breakdown. So again, that's something we'll look at and make sure that we're in a better position come next Saturday. Um, but again, we, we got ourselves into very, very good situations and maybe next time they'll come off. Look, I'd probably need to look at it in more detail. I think a couple of occasions um, was certainly around our speed to contact and our ball carrier doing more work on the ground, um, but also having looked straight away at a couple of incidents, I thought we were unlucky, um, whether it was players in green jerseys with hands on the ground, not supporting their bo own body weight, um, ripping the ball as players went to their knees. So we just didn't get the, the luck at the breakdown, but also credit goes to Ireland where, where they were fast in there, um, disrupted our ball close to the try line. Um, Really frustrating with the, the one at the end of the game because uh, I was watching phase after phase and it didn't look like um, many of the players were behind the, the try line when that was offside line. But we have to be better. We have to um, be better than, than the decisions we were maybe not getting on the field and we've got to take those opportunities. Because in the first half, I imagine we were in there 
22 or even in the five metres from the line on two or three occasions with the ball. And the second half, um, again, certainly once or twice, we got to the dry line. No, I think I think he um, he's played rugby for a long time. You you make mistakes, and to me, mistakes you, you shouldn't be ranking them. That someone drops a ball over the trial and or drop the ball in their own twenty-two, it's it's an error that you flush and move on. Uh, he he was outstanding on the field today. I thought his energy, his decision making, his kicking uh, was excellent, uh, and he's led the team really well the last two weeks. And We'll, we'll work to get better as a, as a coaching group and a, and a playing group. Um, and Stuart will, will bounce back very quickly from that. Yes, I think, I think we knew we were in, in a game with an opportunity to win. Uh, it was great. We really stayed in the fight throughout that, that 80 minutes. Uh, when things weren't going away in the first half around um, the try line, we kept at it. It would have been nice to have had more possession. I think when we had possession, we looked dangerous. Uh, even at the end, getting a couple of uh, line breaks uh, put us in positions to win. So that, that was encouraging, and, and Stuart was a big part of that. Yeah, look at the, the scrum was excellent tonight. I don't, I don't think um, anyone would have predicted um, the scrums going as well for for the men in blue. With, with someone who hasn't played many games for for Edinburgh this year in the loose head and hasn't played for Scotland for four years, up against um, a very, very good player, uh, a lion. Um, Keen Healy on the other side is an excellent player, and we we certainly caused a lot, them a lot of trouble. So credit goes to the players, credit goes to our new um, scrum coach, Peter de Villiers, for that. Line at mall defence was, was very good at times. Um, so was Ireland, um, credit to them. So again, that's, that's Danny Wilson's work in that area. And that, that got us a foothold in the game. Although our ball carrying, um, when we did have possession, uh, was varied, it was strong, and we were physical when we were clearing contact. It's just those two or three opportunities when Ireland got to the breakdown quicker than us, or things didn't go our way at the breakdown, that, um, that stopped us getting points on the board. And I think Stuart also mentioned our discipline. So we can't afford to give away soft penalties, whether it's run across someone's line when they're, they're chasing kicks, um, or not getting out the breakdown quick enough in a scrum half pass into you as you're trying to get out, um, because they take the pressure off the opposition and uh, also when, uh, when they're kicking to touch, puts more pressure on you back in your 22. And 15 penalties is too many probably, or certainly to, to win a test match and win a test match in a venue that Ireland have only lost once in the last five years. Yeah, five minutes isn't that long over a, over 80, but I was really pleased with the first five minutes. Uh, the variation in our attack, uh, the speed of ball we were generating, although the halfbacks controlled um, the game really well. Uh, we got forwards carrying ball, um, forwards that were new to test rugby, like Nick Haining, or certainly um, not played much in the last few years, and Rory Sutherland were getting on ball. And, and it got a reward, it got three points. Uh, I think after that, we didn't build enough phases, whether it was a line out that was stopped, um, or a couple of line outs that we didn't win the ball, or I think after Sam Johnson's line break off the line at play at the end of the first half, we got the ball stripped on the floor just after that. So building phases, creating penalties, narrowing defences, and then scoring tries, that's what you've got to do when, you're, when the players are playing so well when they have the ball. Oh, it's, it's difficult to say. I think Ireland know their strengths. Um, that, that, that team um, hasn't, hasn't changed too much over the last few years. Uh, you've got the halfbacks that um, will play forwards close to them. So whether it's Johnny putting forwards back and in inside balls or Connor um, playing forwards um, off him, uh, they've got very good body height when they carry ball. Uh, and that's always been something throughout the last few years of Irish rugby. Uh, they probably didn't get enough first phase 
possessions or strike plays, which might, we might have seen in the past with with Irish teams, but they, they were physical. Uh, it was a proper test match, and they, they're a quality side uh, that managed to get the win.